AP The House approved a budget outline Thursday that opens the door for President Trump and Republican leaders to pass the tax code overhaul they released last month, but that is only a first step in a long and uncertain path for Trump's vision of sweeping tax cuts. Republicans have outlined an ambitious plan to collapse brackets, change rates, eliminate deductions and revamp how big and small businesses are taxed. We want the American people to wake up in the new year with a new system. House Speaker Paul Ryan, Republican Wisconsin, said. But for that to happen, Trump and Congress will have to move with agility and political coordination that they could not muster on other priorities this year, especially overhauling health insurance. And it will have to happen while other issues also compete for time on the agenda, including some Congress postponed from September into December. Here's a look at what must occur for a bill to reach Trump's desk and what could get in the way. First step, pass a budget Republican leaders say they would welcome bipartisan involvement, but they have decided to use a procedure called reconciliation to prevent Democrats from blocking a tax bill through a filibuster in the Senate. Overcoming a filibuster requires 60 votes, Republicans hold 52 Senate seats. Under reconciliation, a bill can pass with only 50 votes, with the vice president breaking the tie. To use reconciliation, the House and Senate both must pass a budget resolution for 2018, that spells out the impact tax changes will have on federal revenues. Once they do that, a bill that meets those conditions would be filibuster-proof. The House passed its budget, which says tax cuts should be offset by other changes to the tax code and cuts in spending. On Thursday, the Senate Budget Committee approved a different measure Thursday afternoon that says tax breaks could cost as much as $1.5 trillion over 10 years. The Senate is out of session next week, and if the budget resolution is the first item taken up, when it returns, passage on the floor will take time because the rules allow senators to offer multiple amendments to change provisions. What's in it? How President Trump's tax plan affects you? And what we still don't know these amendments often do not have the force of law, but both parties tend to demand votes designed to get senators facing re-election to cast difficult votes that can be used in campaign ads. Liberal groups trying to derail the tax package have set their sights on defeating the budget. One tactic is to focus on the resolution's call for $5.1 trillion in spending cuts over the coming decade arguing that cuts that deep would affect popular programs such as Medicare. Some conservatives have also sounded the alarm about potential expansion of the national debt, challenging the arguments by supporters of the tax overhaul who believe economic growth produced by tax changes will offset reduced revenues. The House budget vote Thursday included 18 Republicans voting no, because of concerns over deficits or parts of the tax package that could hurt their states which highlights some of the hazards GOP leaders may face as the tax plan moves forward. Once the Senate passes a budget, a conference committee would then have to work out differences with the House version. Then each chamber would have to vote again on the conference agreement. That all could be done by Halloween, but only if the plan doesn't hit any speed bumps. Release a bill though months of meetings behind closed doors preceded the tax plan's release, it lacked vital details such as the income levels for the new individual tax brackets, and how the plan to shift corporate taxes from a global system to a domestic one, would work. Filling in those blanks requires legislation, which the Constitution says must originate in the House. The chairman of the House Ways and Means Committee, Rep. Kevin Brady, Republican Texas, said that once the budget resolution provides our runway to land bold tax reform on, his committee will unveil a bill to get around budget rules designed to prevent increasing the deficit. For example, some tax cuts may be crafted to be temporary, so that the money that would come in when they expire, would offset the upfront revenue loss of cutting the taxes in the first place. This would count even if lawmakers have no intention of actually letting the tax breaks expire. Once a bill is unveiled, which probably would not be before next month, it will be up to Ryan and Brady how quickly it will be considered and passed by committee. During that process, members could offer amendments that would affect whether the bill gains or loses support on the floor. Photo Alex Swong, Getty Images passed the House after the bill gets out of the Ways and Means Committee, the full House will be able to weigh in. Ryan could restrict whether members could offer floor amendments, 
but if a block of representatives seeking changes is large enough to endanger passage, he cow.